Hi there, I'm Black Bright. I'm vlogging all the way from the UK and to your homes. And I just want to thank you once again for subscribing and for following and liking and sharing. And yes, thank you very much. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about the Article 13, which is now Article 17. And what this means for people, not so much people like me, because I don't use fancy stuff. But for people who use photos, logos, any kind of images, any kind of sound bites, any kind of music at all, any kind of frames, um, what else? Any material that belongs to someone else, their channel is going to be taken down. Apparently, um, EU have... Um, come out with this legislation and it's called article 17 and this is the result um i think yeah and drawings so you know what's going to happen now because youtube has millions and millions of people who are uploading all the time every i mean i do two or three and you can imagine all the other people are doing the same thing around the world, thousands and thousands. It's an impossible task for YouTube to keep up with it. So what does this mean for people who don't keep it simple, who don't just, I mean, I know it's boring when you just see a face and they're just talking to you and all these fancy little interjections kind of make it, make it much more interesting. But those videos will be taken down. And not only those, you know, other videos are going to be coming into the fray. And conspiracy theories say that it's to suppress our voice. For those of us who are out there trying to share the truth, trying to let people know what's going on, this is going to be a legitimate way, in quotes, of curtailing the voice, suppressing the voice, suppressing those of us who are informing. Now, the reason why I said it's best to keep it simple, because if it is just you and your face and you haven't got anything that you're promoting inadvertently, then technically they shouldn't take out your videos. But they're not even just going to take out videos that are coming that you're uploading from now. They're going to go into the past and they're going to get this machine. It's called a proportionate recognition technology. And it's very expensive, so not all um, platforms can afford it. But this is supposed to vet any kind of video that might have something that's the copyright of someone else. Um, I think it's kind of really kind of scary. Um, it's really the onus is on the YouTuber, even though they're not going to be penalised. But this is the sad thing. The uploader is not going to be penalised. It's YouTube that's going to be penalised for uploading material that contains copyright content. And they're, they're not going to be able unless they use this data machine. And if you think about how many mistakes the Home Office used with their machine that they have, you know, that CID machine, it's not foolproof. And remember, in, in previous videos, 259 people lost their video. They lost in, lost their um their driving license got their driving license revoked because of a technical error. Now this is going this is bound to happen when you're thinking about millions and millions of people uploading. Videos are going to be deleted. They go when you want to check a video, it's gonna it's gonna be taken down. If you've shared a video, you're not going to be able to find it. So um, if you do find videos that you really find useful, I would suggest, I think there's a kind of a small fee with YouTube, but you download them so you have them on your hard drive. Otherwise, they're lost. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I did. I already said that. It does get a bit tricky when you're using um, other people's um, pieces, you know, to make it a parody or a joke or to refer to. I'm not quite sure. You know, sometimes when I use the phone of somebody who's videotaped 
um, like that police thing that went viral. I'm not sure if things like that actually count as copyright material. I think it's more or less um, books, um, paintings, um, music that people have sung. I think it's more or less that, but you can't be too careful. And so I think you're going to find in the future that YouTubers are going to become quite boring just to protect themselves, to protect YouTube and to help us continue our journey, which is informing um, our viewers what's going on. I mean, YouTubers have all different roles. Some are teaching you how to cook. Some are teaching you um, about your car. They, there's a masses and masses of information on the YouTube. So we need to keep it going. There is a petition going around trying to tell us to um, stop the EU 13, EU 17. And because we haven't left the EU, we're bound to it. So I thought I'd let you know what's going on in the YouTube world, um, just in case um, you're a YouTuber yourself and you didn't know. Okay, that's all for now. Bye bye.